For the love of God, please don't look directly at the solar eclipse on Saturday. But if you do, your pair of drugstore sunglasses won't help. That's the case for any solar eclipse. However, this one is a particularly unique event. This is what's known as a ring of fire eclipse. Unlike a total solar eclipse, this ring of fire eclipse occurs when the moon covers more than 90% of the sun's surface, giving the appearance of a ring of fire, hence the nickname. The ring of fire eclipse, also called an annular eclipse, will be visible within a roughly 125 mile wide path through North, Central, and South America. In the US, it can only be seen from Oregon to Texas, starting in the Pacific Northwest at 9.13 a.m. PST and ending in the Lone Star State at 12.03 p.m. CST. A partial solar eclipse when only part of the sun appears covered will be visible in all 49 continental states. And if you want to see it, experts recommend you grab a pair of certified solar eclipse glasses. They're about 100,000 times darker than normal sunglasses and allow you to look directly at the sun. Also, be sure not to view the eclipse through your phone's camera, telescope, or binoculars even when wearing the glasses. You'll need a special filter for solar rays over the front of the lens to do so. If you can't get a pair of glasses in time, you can also use a pair pinhole projector to project an image of the sun. But if you don't have the right kind of glasses or follow appropriate precautions, it can be kind of dangerous. Fire! Back in 2017, a woman wound up with a crescent shape burned into her vision and was diagnosed with solar retinopathy in both eyes after viewing a total solar eclipse with glasses that didn't meet international safety standards. If the ring of fire isn't viewable from where you are, you might be able to see a total solar eclipse in April 2024, which is expected to cross the US from Texas to May. This is your last shot to catch a ring of fire eclipse for a while though. The next one isn't until 2024. 46.